What's up? We're back. Uh, let me get rid of this noise. Okay. Um, I just wanted to do a quick, a quick video. I feel like I look sick. I don't feel very good. I feel congested. Um, anyway, I just watched Garden State for the first time in a long, long time. Um, it had been years, probably. Um, I put off watching this for a long time, and I don't know why. I, I put off watching movies for some reason, and it doesn't make sense because I'll end up uh, having a great time. It, it's the same thing with, like, I want to watch Fight Club, but I just haven't found the time to put that in to the player. Uh, instead, I'll pick something else, and I don't know why I do that, but tonight I finally decided to dust off Garden State and... Uh, and see what I thought, um, revisiting it, and it's even better than I had remembered. That's often the case with a lot of movies in my collection, because I let them sit for a long time before revisiting, uh, but this seems like the type of movie that I needed to see right now, and, and I don't know how to describe that. Um, like, I, I had been wanting to, to watch it for some time, and uh and it just hit right it hit just right you know it, it's uh it was a good choice definitely oh now i'm now i'm realizing the way that i feel I, my head is congested and it's because i've um no it, it i'm no doctor it could be something else but it's uh i think it's because i've had lasagna a couple times there's this giant thing of lasagna uh, and there's extra cheese. I don't have cheese very often, uh, so it's it's ruining me. It's ruining me. It was a mistake, and I don't feel good. So that's awesome. Oof, I'm, I should take vitamins after this. Anyway, back to the review. Uh, the movie is pretty simple. It's just about this guy named something uh, Andrew, Andrew Largeman. Um, and he returns home to uh, his uh, the town he grew up in in New Jersey, and he sees old friends. Uh, oh, and by the way, he's he's come back to town. Um, he's come back to his hometown for the first time in in years because his mother has just passed away. So the movie basically uh, follows his character as he reconnects with old friends from like school and he meets this new girl um played by natalie portman uh he also goes through uh family issues um and drama there uh all in all it's a pretty simple movie but it's it's uh well done in its quietness you know there's something subtle and beautiful about the movie and it's really sweet there's there's a lot of uh, very personal themes in it, I feel, and uh, it, it's definitely a movie you can connect to, I think. Um, it also it also captures a feeling that I can't really put put into words, and and that's a really special thing. Not many movies do that, and I'm I'm really glad that I decided to revisit this. Um, so. All in all, you know, for me, this movie is like a 10 out of 10. I've always loved it ever since I saw it. Uh, I don't know how long it's been exactly since I watched it, but it's directed by Zach Braff, who also stars in the movie, and Natalie Portman is great as well. Also, um, Peter Sarsgaard, I don't know if I pronounced his name right. I, I love his character in this movie. Um, the... The supporting actors or characters are, um, are you know, not not like the the big part of the story because it's really about the main character's journey or whatever. But they they provide much needed uh, elements of um, uh, what would you call that? Um, they just they just provide a really good um, uh, what well, I guess you would call it. A pleasantness to the movie it it uh, gives the movie more depth I guess you could say and you feel more connected to the main character and his friends 
uh, getting to meet these other people. Uh, so all in all, it's basically just a small movie about a guy who goes back home uh, and he's sort of been estranged, you know, and it's it's just about him kind of seeing everyone again for like four days, meeting this girl and everything else um, that that happens within that time that he's visiting. It's it's really sweet. It's a great movie, in my opinion, and you should definitely go and watch it. Um, like I said, I give it 10 out of 10 just because it's always been a favorite, but, uh, definitely go and check out Garden State. Um, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's on any streaming services, but it's definitely worth a buy. Also, very visually pleasing in, in multiple scenes. I love the music, too. The music really puts me in, uh, in a special type of uh, headspace, I guess. The the movie will bring out a lot of uh, raw and um, uh, personal feelings, I think. Uh, it, it does for me, at least. So go check out uh, Garden State if you haven't already.